Greetings and namaste, people of the internet. I am Flaming Ninja Gamer, and my voice just cracked again. Welcome back to my Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke challenge, and um, last time we got the fifth badge by cheesing our way through it. All of the fairy type gym leaders Pokemon were very, very strong, and Goulet almost died, and I kept on using potions over and over, just trying to keep them alive. What I am doing really is not fair for a Nuzlocke, so, um, I have decided to, uh, adhere to, uh, the rules still, only change them slightly. Um, I am only going to carry 20 of each potion on me at all times, and I can only use five potions during a battle. Probably thinking, Flaming Ninja Gamer, just don't use potions altogether. What? That's how Pro Jared does it? I know, but if I did that, I don't think I would be able to handle it. That is the rule that I am making right now, and I am sticking with it to make the Nuzlocke a little more challenging from here on out. Alright, let's, uh, have a look around Balan Lee. Okay. Ugh, sheesh! What the hey? Um... Opal, I would like to apologize about that last battle. I kind of cheesed through it. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed for the next gym, next gym stadium, you'll need to go to Hammerlock too. After all, why? This game has me constantly backtracking. Uh, with pleasure. They say two's company. After all. <laughs> Okay. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. This doesn't look dusty. I mean, look at all these. Pretty flowers. Let me go into Pokemon Center for a second. Um, I just remembered there's something I haven't done yet. Um, I am going to use the card maker, because I like to actually customize my League card a little bit. Uh, let's see here. We've got a bunch of different backgrounds here. Don't want the red plaid. That one looks dumb. That looks cool, but also kind of terrifying. That's not me. Oh, definitely not. What's this one? I have no idea what the heck that is. Ugh, none of these look cool to me. I mean, this background of Hammerlock kind of does. There's that one. I really like that one. I'll stick with that one, see what I come up with. Uh, effect? <laughs> Not going Dragon Ball Z on this. A little bit of fire on screen wouldn't hurt. The electricity? Nah, fire. I don't know. Frame? Uh, kinda like that one. Uh, next step, let's see what this does. Oh, change the pose, okay. Um, okay, uh, zoom that in a little bit. Move you over here. Actually, let's let's zoom you out a little bit so that I can show a little bit of a pose. Change pose. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. Uh uh. Kind of like that one. Maybe. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Mm mm. <laughs> I am the Batman! <laughs> I don't think so. Just a freaking thumbs up. I like that one a lot. Let's move you over a little bit. Zoom in. Too much, that's too much. I might have to change the background a little bit, actually. Let's change my expression. Not plain. Not that. Not that. No. No. I'm just gonna quickly rush through these, see if I find something that... No. Kinda like that face. And looking straight at the... Uh, straight out of the card looks pretty dang cool. Let's go back for a second. Oh. No! Dang it! Shoot! That background looks pretty cool. 
with all the with the frame and the effects and everything. Okay, now let's try this again. That looks good. I've been messing around with this too much. Next step. Ooh, matte coating, clear coating, dot foil. I don't want the checkered foil or the dot foil. That looks dumb. So. I don't see the difference with the matte coating. I'll just, uh, I'll go with the clear coating. Printing! Our cards are even waterproof! Don't worry about getting written on them. <laughs> yeah, great. That's all I really wanted to know. Let's also take a look at my Pokémon. Um, I really need to look at their stats because Goulette was... He should have not been able to... They should have not been able to do anything with Goulette. Goulette's speed is pretty low. His defense is low, his special defense is the highest, so he's good against special attacks. His special attack, however, is really low. Scorch has terrible special defense and regular defense. However, he is really fast and he has decently high attack. And special attack. Ninetales, her... Stats are the lowest out of all of them. Her speed's decent, and her special defense is pretty high. Sheesh. Caper's attack is the highest. Well, not as high as Goulette's. His attack's decent. His speed isn't the best. His defense is okay. His special attack is also really good. Not as good as his normal attack. Slap and McGee, his stats are kind of all over the place. His special defense is good. His normal defense is lacking. His attack is a uh, good. His special attack is special attack sucks. Although I'm not worried about special attack because Slappy McGee is a fighting type and most fighting type moves actually deal with physical attacks. Naira hers her stats are the worst. Although her special attack and her special defense is good. And she's decently fast, too. <sighs> what am I gonna do with this group of Pokemon that have been with me for most of my journey? I feel like maybe I should test out some of my other Pokemon. Some of the Pokemon that I have in my boxes. Where are we supposed to go now? Uh, hmm. Bede? Really? I'm fighting Bede now? Time to come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenger status revoked? No. I have no idea what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Not really. I commend your humility. It is appropriate for a trainer of your limited talents. Excuse me, I whooped your butt twice. No, ah, crap. I whooped your butt three times corrected myself there, and you went against against the chairman's wishes and used his Pokemon for a wrong to destroy a, mon a national monument. So, limited talent? You're blaming me? You're looking at me with limited talent? I beat you three times! This guy's a jerk, even when he is not in the gym challenge anymore. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Uh, oh! Opal? Hmm, that boy. Now that's what I would call pink. Uh-oh! So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. The depth. I gotta. I gotta change my voice for her. I sound dumb. Time for my gym mission, child. Huh? What? Pink. Pink. And pink. Congratulations, child. What? What, Ms. Opal? What in the world has gotten into you? 
You were used by Olena, am I right? You worked so hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like a like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure that you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Oh boy. Farewell for now, child. You should head to... Sir Chester. Sir Chester? I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. It's... this way, right? Okay. Also, that was weird. That was an odd exchange. Opal... I think Opal is scouting Bede to become the next Fairy-type gym leader. Holy crap! And here's Sonya again. Great, more talking. Hey, yeah, uh, the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins in Stoan's side. The sword and shield? What kind of Pokémon were they, and where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in... Ugh, not again. What the heck was that? Are you kidding me? What was that? Emerlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Oh boy. Huh? A power spot? What's wrong? I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing is possible here? Um, in a stadium, yeah. Hey, Sonya, and Flaming too. You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Oh boy, is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Excuse me? Excuse me? I'll have you know that I am... Well, in this game, I would appear to be younger than you, but... You know what? Never mind! Head to Sir Chester and get that gym badge. Um, alright. It's just that, in past Pokemon games, I've dealt with matters way more concerning than this. I had to fight Team Flare to stop them from uh, stealing the energy from a tree or something. I had to stop Team Skull from ruining the... Uh, Alola Pokemon League, I can totally deal with something as large as a Quake and Hammerlock. Whatever. Oh, Flaming! Oh, hey, Hop! Hop is, uh, waiting in the store? Where's that? Uh, that first that forest, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. <laughs> but it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Um, okay. Yeah, sure. Y you said come with you. You're still running ahead of me. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait! Yep. I just remembered. Gotta stick with my own rules now. I can now purchase more items. Yay, great. I'm here to sell, actually. All these potions? I don't need these potions, man. Sell 14 of those. And sell five of those. Okay, 20 of each potion are on me. Uh, I'm probably going to keep these full heals if I ever need them. I'm still keeping 20 of each potion on me. I can still only use five healing items during a battle. Hop, wait for me! We going across another gigantic bridge? Oh, Sir Chester, that looks like the Ice-type stadium is next. Great! I'm going to be relying on Scorch and Valkyrie for that one, I'll bet. Alright. Alright, Fleeming! You and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No! Not just catch up, if I want to surpass him! Okay, so I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in a battle against you. Okay, we're battling hot next. Okay, let's... Now try out these new rules, and see how this goes. Trevenant. 
Whoa! Trevenant is what Suda Wudo evolves into, isn't it? All right, time for me to test exactly how far I could go with my bad dad. Level 34. Hop, you have a lot of catching up to do, actually. Uh, let me double check here. Uh, Trevenant is a ghost grass type. Oh, it's what Phantom evolves into. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not what Suda Wudo evolves into. Which means... Ghost is effective against ghosts, so probably shouldn't have Goulette out here. Alright. Scorch, I'm sending you out. Hopefully this is gonna go okay. Horn Leech. Ha! Not very effective. Scorch, use Flame Charge! Eh, one-shot it. The way you battle, you know, it kinda reminds me of Lee. How? Okay, my speed rose. Not sure if that matters, though. Eh, Scorch leveled up. Oh, Snorlax. You've got a Snorlax. Snorlax is a normal type. So, that would mean... Uh... I'm, I'm gonna keep Scorch out, actually. His Snorlax is level 35. Doesn't matter. Use Double Kick! Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. A critical hit, okay. Oh boy. Eh, oh, I'm paralyzed. Uh-oh. Eh, use Double Kick again. Okay, we're good. Thank goodness that paralysis did not get me. And Goulette leveled up. Bolt Hunt. Bolt Hunt. Huh. Is that his starter? Is that the evolved? Is that the final evolved form of his starter? Because I haven't heard of Bolt Hunt. I'm going to switch you out with Goulette. All right, Goulette, let's see what's going on here. Oh! Oh, oh, okay. That, is that what Yamper evolves into? That is pretty freaking cool. Gonna have to say goodbye to you, though, because Bolton... Uh, crunch. How'd you like that attack? Now I really feel like we're getting somewhere. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. One-shot it, though. <laughs> uh, that was scary. Don't do that to me. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Rillaboom. I'm going to guess that that is his starter. I'm going to switch you out with Scorch once again. Scorch is paralyzed, unfortunately. But if that's his starter, then Scorch would be good against it. Yep, I was right. <laughs> what the crap? He's got a big old drum, too. Level 37. So, why would you throw him out here and not last? Regardless, uh, just to be on the safe side, um, hold on. How much does Super Potion? Super Potion should be good enough. Okay, potion number one. Knock off. Uh. Oh, you knocked off my charcoal. Sheesh. Whatever. I'm going to use Pyro Ball again. Slam. D please don't. Please don't. Oh, my para that paralysis is going to eat me away. Uh, paralyze heal and hope that... What he does next does not kill you. Slam. Okay. I avoided it. Use Pyro Ball quickly. I'm faster than you now. Now that paralysis is removed. There you go. Good job, Scorch. Round of applause for Scorch. He, he pulled in there. Okay. Heat more. Heat more. That is obviously going to be a fire type. Uh, 
Caper, come on out. Show this heat more what, what we are all about. I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win in these situations. So what? <laughs> oh, yep, it's that, that Ant Eater Pokemon. Level 34. Why didn't you save Rilla, Rilla Bloom or whatever the heck his name is for last? That could have been a good strategy. Unless... He has a strategy with Heatmore. Use Razor Shell. Let's just see what Heatmore will do. Or I just, just one-shot him. Sheesh, Hop, you've got a lot of catching up to do. Alright, Caper and Nyra leveled up. Cool. Alright, that was good. That was, that was a um, decent battle using the new rules. This is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as their trainer. <laughs> Hop, you're looking at this all wrong. I know that you're trying to learn, but... Wow. Before we ever started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now, I can tell just how strong he really is, and what he's got that I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll heal up your team for you to Oh, thank you! Thank you, Hop! Very kind of you! I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. Really? That's if I can get out of there alive. <laughs> I really cannot underestimate the gyms from here on out. That's what nearly got Goulet killed. Um, okay, that's enough for this episode. Um, decent uh, change of the rules there, and uh, that uh, battle against Hop was actually nearly, nearly very stressful to me. I'm looking forward to trying out this new rule and uh, see how far I can get with it. Even though I already passed my goal, not using it, um, I'm going to try and make it past the seventh gym. My new goal with this new rule of mine is going to be the seventh gym. At least make it to the seventh gym. If I don't and make it past there, I am going to be really upset. Anyway, I'm Flaming Ninja Gamer. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far, and hope you continue to enjoy it. And maybe you'll enjoy it even more now that I'm changing the rules now. Thank you guys again for watching. See you next time. Peace out, and sayonara.